Hi, my name is Joshua Johnson, and I'm the Director of Academic Technology at Wisconsin Lutheran College. Today I want to talk to you about building an online presentation using two familiar tools, PowerPoint and YouTube. In fact, the very presentation that I'm making right now is being done through the process that I'm sharing with you at the end of this video. For as long as I can remember, and perhaps as long as anyone can remember, presentation has been a key part of teaching. Whether it's a teacher using an overhead, or a projector, or a whiteboard, or a smartboard, it has been a way for a teacher to connect with students, to share the things that they have learned from their experience with the students as they are going through their own learning experience. Not only is it a way for teachers to present information, it's also a way for teachers to assess what students have learned and give the students a chance to share what they've learned with the rest of their classmates in a way that perhaps prepares them with some of the public speaking skills that they'll need as they move on into the rest of their adult life. I like to use this image when I talk about classroom instruction in a traditional sense, where the teacher is the sage on the stage armed with years of experience and knowledge and trying to find a way to transfer that knowledge to their students. That's really changing in today's classrooms as we see more and more classrooms adopting a blended learning environment, taking some of the principles of online education and combining them with those face-to-face -face principles. The benefit of this is it allows students to have access to that same instruction from the teacher uh, at any time in any place. A teacher can also use an online presentation in order to make that connection and maybe um, distill some of the more difficult concepts into bite-sized chunks for their students. There are a large number of online tools that exist to help teachers and students create online presentations, most notably VoiceThread and Prezi. I've chosen not to focus on them because while they do make these presentations possible, they really have their own unique individual uses. Instead, I chose PowerPoint because PowerPoint really has stood the test of time. When people talk about PowerPoints, um, they do it in the same way that people talk about Kleenexes. Really, there's many brands of tissue, but when you reach for one, most of the time people ask for a Kleenex. A PowerPoint is the same way. And really, what's important is a good presentation. It doesn't matter what tool you're using to create that presentation, as long as you make a presentation that is visually appealing to the audience and conveys the message that you want to get across um, as cleanly as possible. One of the advantages of PowerPoint is that it really is the standard for presentation tools. What that means is that many of the tools that can create slideshows are forced to be able to read and understand what a PowerPoint file consists of. One of the disadvantages of PowerPoint has traditionally been sharing the presentation. It used to mean getting that file into the hands of your audience. While PowerPoint has created some useful tools that allow you to do this in a more streamlined way, we're going to take a look at doing this through YouTube. This is where YouTube really shines. Once you have your PowerPoint uh, exported to a video file, you'll be able to upload it to your own YouTube channel and then have the ability to share that uh, video or that presentation with anyone uh, very simply by copying and pasting a link. That URL link can be viewed on any device, whether it be a phone, well, whether it be a smartphone or a tablet or a computer, uh, YouTube is is able to be viewed in a variety of different ways in a variety of different locations. Another advantage of using YouTube is that you're creating a digital archive of your presentations that are available online and can be shared with other users quickly and easily. You'll be able to do this all by simply copying and pasting a URL. That means you'll be able to send it via email, 
text, social media, um, or posted on some online space that your students have access to. So let's take a look at how you can take your PowerPoint and export it in such a way that you'll be able to share that online via YouTube. First, you're going to need to export the PowerPoint. Uh, these pictures are taken in PowerPoint 2013, but the method is still the same um, if you go back a couple of different versions of Office. You're going to first have to go to the File menu, and instead of saving, you're going to export and choose Create a Video. The next screen is going to give you a few options, namely the quality or the size of the video. This is going to change the resolution, um, but it's also going to change how large the file is for uploading later. You'll be able to decide whether or not you want to have the recorded timings and narrations. Right now, I'm recording these narrations on each slide, and I would like you to be able to hear all of them. So that is set to use that, and then I'm going to click the Create Video button. It's going to ask me where I want to save that. Um, I chose a location on my hard drive. And then you'll notice in the next screen, it kind of takes you back, and this is blown up, but at the bottom of the next screen, you're going to see a little status bar that shows you how far um, your video has gone through the exporting process. And when that bar is all done, then your video is ready to go. Next, you're going to have to sign in or create a Google account. In order to do that, go to youtube.com. At the top right hand corner, click sign in. If you have a Google account or a Gmail account, you'll sign in on that page. If not, click the create account button. You'll be able to create either a new Gmail address or if you want to use your current email address as a Google account, you can do that as well. Simply put in the information and you'll probably get a verification email that you'll have to click on before the account goes live. Next, you'll return to YouTube. On the top right hand portion of the page when you're signed in, you'll click the upload button. That will take you to a screen that will ask you to pick the file. Here's that presentation file that I exported from, from PowerPoint before. I'm simply going to drag it over and drop it on this screen and allow it to do its thing uploading the file. On the next page, you'll be able to keep track of how long it's going to take until your file is ready. But while you wait, you can add things like a description and a title. You can also list the file as public, unlisted, or private. Public means anyone can view it. Private means only people with a YouTube account can view it, and they have to be logged in. I typically list mine as unlisted. That means that when I want to share it with somebody, all I have to do is copy this URL that's over here, and I can paste that and share it with another user. They'll be able to watch the video without logging in, even if they don't have a Google account. Also, when I want to go back and either delete the video, edit the name, or maybe make some enhancements or changes, I can go to YouTube, sign in, go to my channel, and above my user account and background image, there's a section called Video Manager. Click on that and it'll take you to a list of all of your videos where you can do the necessary editing. So armed with that information, you should now be able to export a PowerPoint presentation into a video file and then upload that video file to YouTube. Once there, you'll be able to share that file with anybody, and they can watch that on their phone, tablet, computer, TV, uh, probably even their watch in the near future. So hopefully this has been helpful. Um, thanks for watching.